So we always have butternut squash around, but you can even buy it in the produce department already diced up if you don't want to take the time. But we're going to take half of a large butternut squash. You need about a pound to a pound and a half, and we're going to cook it in the drippings of half a pound of meaty bacon that we rendered out in a little olive oil. So this is bacon and butternut pasta we're making. A little bit more salt. You're gonna get salt from the bacon, not too much. A little sprinkle of salt. I like black pepper with this. And anytime I use squash, orange squash, I use nutmeg. A couple of large fat shallots. And then I'm gonna grate in a couple of fat cloves of garlic. And then I let this sweat a little bit. Then we're gonna add our fresh herbs, a little acidity. We're gonna let some wine, a little bit of white wine absorb into the squash. I'm gonna top um, a salad, a nice winter salad, uh, with some crunchy hazelnuts. We're gonna make a simple dressing. But right now, I'm, I'm just gonna let this cook out a bit. When we come back, we'll get the liquids in. We'll talk salad dressing right after this. When we're cooking pastas, we have to really season, heavily season, aggressively season your cooking water with salt because that cooking water is what we use to marry the pasta and the sauce together. It's an element of the dish, it's an ingredient, so you have to season that ingredient. Uh, we're gonna cook these fun little pasta shapes, they're called gili. Any short pasta will do. I'm gonna let that cook up. When you salt your water, wait till the water comes to a boil. To this, see that color we're getting? from the development of the drippings from the bacon and the sugars in the squash. We wanna lift that up. Color is flavor in cooking. So we add that white wine we were talking about. It gives us acidity and it will absorb almost immediately into your squash. We're cooking over medium to medium high heat. And now we're gonna add our fresh sage. Like nutmeg, squash loves sage. Orange squash loves sage. So we put in a few tablespoons of sage. And now, so we have a little more sauce. Oh, a cup or two of chicken stock. And then quickly for our salad, the salad is a beautiful winter salad of sectioned citrus, a little bit of orange, fennel, delicious in the winter, uh, any leaf lettuce you choose, artichoke hearts, and some of the fennel fronds. For the salad dressing, a little shallot and garlic in a, in a mason jar, so we can just shake it up. I add some thyme, salt, Pepper, what the heck? Your vinegar of choice, I'm using white balsamic. Your ratio when you're making salad dressing is three to one, acid to olive oil. So if you have two tablespoons of acid, you need six tablespoons approximately, or about a third of a cup of olive oil. I always put in a little Dijon mustard and a drizzle of honey, and there you go. When we come back, we'll toss the pasta. the dressing on the salad because it looks so pretty, but remember your ratio there, however you make your dressing, if you make it in a mason jar, it's one part acid to three parts oil. So I use two tablespoons of acid to six tablespoons of olive oil. For the pasta, drain the pasta two minutes shy of the cooking time. If the package says 10 minutes, cook it eight minutes. Why? Because you have a thing called carryover cooking. You drain the pasta, you put it back in the hot pot, it's still continuing to cook, it's still super hot. Then that marriage of the pasta I told you, you take that starchy cooking water, you're gonna mix that together with cheese. All the time, this pasta is still cooking. Then you're gonna add most of your sauce, saving a little to top it with, and you're tossing all of your pasta with all of your sauce. Nothing makes me crazier than naked pasta with a blob of sauce in the middle, because you want all of it to taste delicious. So we're mixing all of our butternut, bacon, cheese, everybody all together in the hot tub. Then we take all of this to the pasta bowl. Boop! And then you top it with the rest of your butternut and bacon. And then uh, the hazelnuts, which are good on your salad or your pasta, as you like. And a little chives. There you go, done.